Hello everybody, it is Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video I'll be taking a quick look at the Element Glider for the iPhone 5. This case comes courtesy of CaseCrown.com and you can pick this up in a number of different colors for $24.95 from CaseCrown.com. I would also like to thank Case Crown for sending this over to me for review. So if you're unfamiliar with Case Crown for whatever reason, Case Crown has been known for creating some of the most popular and best slider cases for mobile devices and the element glider is no exception so what's interesting about this particular model is that it has sort of a sort of a smooth sandpaper like texture to it now some people may like this some people might not i think this is pretty neat and it's a bit different than what i've seen from slider cases in the past so obviously this is the blue case it's available in four other colors one thing about the price though is that while it's listed for $25 on the website, you can get this for much cheaper from other websites. I'm not going to name them. You could do your own shopping research about the price, but you'll quickly find out what I'm talking about. So here's the case itself. We have a black felt lining on the inside along the main piece here as well as the bottom port part, excuse me. On the back of the bottom part, we do have the case crown logo. Let me try and give you a close-up of this back. Maybe you can see this is sort of the texture that I'm talking about. So, sort of a smooth, slightly rough material. So let's go ahead and take the iPhone 5 and slide it into place, starting with the top piece first. Then we'll take the bottom piece and slide that on as well. And there you go. We do have a bit of a lay on the table design so you're able to lay your phone display down onto a table without your display actually touching it. If you are worried about screen protectors, they should work fine. I have a simple anti-glare film installed right now and there are no problems whatsoever, no bubbling around the edges or anything like that. Although I do imagine that if you are using a thicker screen protector than you know the average protection film, you might run into some issues with this case. Going over the ports and openings, along the left side we do have a large cutout for our two volume buttons and our silent switch. Along the top you have a cutout for your power button. It is a bit recessed so it does feel a little bit different to actually press than without this case at all. Along the bottom we have a large cutout for our speaker area, microphone, and our lightning port. The 3.5mm headset jack isn't as large as some cases, but for most people this should be fine if you're using headphones with a larger headphone plug, then this probably will run into problems for you. Here's what the back looks like. We have a pretty large cutout for your camera area. There's no black lining around it, so I do not know if this affects the flash at all. Here's the case crown logo again. And here is the seam between the two pieces. Now, compared to slider cases that I've used in the past, this is actually not too noticeable, I would say, especially along the sides where it's even more unnoticeable. Overall, I think this is a fantastic slider case. It's extremely simple all around. It works very well. No issues with screen protectors, at least in my experience. The case looks good, it feels good. And depending on where you shop, the case is definitely priced right as well. No included extras with this case, so no screen protector or microfiber cloth, just the case itself as well as the packaging. So that is it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.